four feet tall and weighing up to 22 pounds to 40 pounds. These fierce creatures are the largest member of the weasel family. They're called weasels on steroids, a powerful animal which resembles a small bear. Razor-like sharp claws, sharp teeth, half of its power come from its physicality, another half from its attitude. They're ferocious fighter, move over honey badger, there's a new badass in town, and they are the Wolverine. Does X-Men's Wolverine actually look like a Wolverine? Yes, like his animal namesake, James Logan Howlett is compact, hairy, and heavily muscled. In North America, Wolverines are most commonly found in Canada, Logan's native land, and are solitary beasts like the superhero. However, male Wolverine are often polygamous, whereas Logan is in the film series at least more of a one-woman kind of a guy. They are omnivores, they eat both meat and vegetation. Wolverines are known not only for strength but for ferocity. They prove winning a fight is more about ferocity than size. They are like the killing machine who are afraid of nothing. Known for vicious and strong for its size and can take down anything. One such example was a wolverine killing a polar bear in a zoo by strangulating the bear's throat by finally suffocating it to death. Their upper molar teeth are rotated 90 degrees which they use to rip off meat from prey even when it's solid frozen. They eat everything of the prey including its bone and teeth. They can also be very aggressive when they are hungry, which is often as they have excellent appetite. Whereas a wolf can go several days without eating, the wolverine will begin looking for more food just a few hours after finishing a meal. Wolverines are fierce land predators and they will do whatever it takes to protect their food. They don't back out when the need arises to fight with animals much larger as well. Wolverines are willing to fight in order to protect their meal. They have very strong razor sharp claws and white paws which they use for both hunting and digging snow. Females use their claws to dig a den or tunnel for young ones where they will sleep at night and they also dig to take out carcasses from snow. Not only do they hunt but they also challenge larger predators for their freshly killed prey. They are very good at stealing prey from other animals. Here, Cougar, who is an active hunter, soon realizes that it's better to run than fight and abandons its food to a hungry and aggressive wolverine. When it comes to food, they fight among themselves. Here are two wolverines fighting for food. They also use their claws to climb cliffs and trees. They have big paws that they spread to twice their size when they hit the ground, distributing their weight to help them travel through snow. They can run up to 30 miles per hour with thick oily fur that resists frost, hydrophobic fur which is like waterproof which keeps them warm and cold, but that has also made them a target for fur traders. They can be found in boreal forests and tundras in North America, Europe and Asia, where temperatures are cool even in the summer. So it's no surprise that these animals have evolved to deal with frigid weather. Wolverines survive in very harsh arctic climates. This animal has excellent sense of smell. They can smell prey even when buried under 20 feet of snow and have even been known to find and kill animals that are in hibernation. And because they have powerful jaws and teeth designed to crack through frozen meat and bone, they tend to find even animals which have died and are deeply buried under the snow during snowstorm with their strong sense of smell. They get extremely aggressive when hungry. This sometimes leads to confrontations with larger animals. Here fighting with wolves which are much larger in size. Both have sharp claws and teeth, starting a fierce battle 
between a hungry wolverine and a feasty wolf. The wolverine finds the most vulnerable spot of wolf and bites it right in the nose. And the fierce fight lasts for quite some time and the wolf who is much bigger in size gives way. And the wolverine, bon appetit. This wolf was alone as wolves mostly hunt in a pack. But this wolverine is really fearless. Look, in the dictionary, wolverine picks should be there next to the word fearless. Look at his audacity. Doesn't even care for a pack of wolves. They backed off in front of a lone fearless wolverine. Wolverines are mostly solitaire animals. Just imagine their power if they also hunted in packs like wolves and other animals. Supremely adapted to the far north, wolverines are paws that expand to nearly twice their size, functioning atop the snowpack like snowshoes. In a chase, they can outlast most animals and run as far as 50 miles. They are just a vicious piece of muscle and they just don't care about their size. Even the bears don't mess with these little guys. The wolverine doesn't often hunt big prey, though it mostly lives on smaller animals like hares and carrion left over after a wolf pack kill. When it does attack a large animal like a reindeer or a caribou, it's been known to leap on the prey's back and bite it on the neck. They spray a nasty smelling liquid on trees and bushes to mark their territory. Sometimes they'll spray on their food as well that they want to eat later, which they hide it under the snow so that no other animals will ever want to touch it. When looking for food, wolverines can cover as much as 15 miles in a single day. In the US, these mostly solitary creatures wander a territory of 47 square miles and in Scandinavia, they roam territories that stretch over more than 270 miles. When they hunt, they climb trees or tall rocks and boulders from which they jump onto their prey's back and are excellent swimmers. They don't have any natural predators. Marvel's most strongest, fiercest, grittiest superhero is called, with a reason, the Wolverine.